Hey everyone, this is Ultra Runner. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the um, Tons and Art toys. Um, this is technically called the Adolescent Malevolence. Um, as we all know, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, this is actually Kid Buu. Um, this is a unique situation for me because I'm not a big fan of really buying unlicensed products. I do have the Cell Studio Unicron, of course. Um, um, and of course, I picked. I decided to pick up this Kid Buu. Uh, but typically, I only pick up unlicensed products if it's just not available for purchase by the company that makes it. So in the case of the Cell Studio, there is no Unicron that size made by Hasbro. Um, in, a in a licensed format, so I didn't mind picking it up. And with Kid Boo, it's crazy to believe, but there is no versions of Kid Boo outside of this guy here, which is the uh, Bandai Dragon Stars Kid Boo. And I'm just going to just do a quick side by side. So, I mean, this is not even, even really part of the video. I just kind of forgot I had this guy sitting on the counter. But yeah, they're not even the same league. So since SHF doesn't actually make a version of this, um, I decided to go pick up the Tons and Arts version because um, after all these many years, it's just not one. But if SHF makes an official one, I'll believe, believe it or not, I will pick it up because you know I always want to support the companies who actually are doing this and do pay for the licensing rights because that is expensive. So. Um, let's jump into the video. So first thing I have here, and this is the box that it comes in. So there's two different versions of this guy. They make a um, an A and a B. Let me move on the way so you guys can see the box better. Um, they make an A and a B. Um, I picked the B. Now, it's so funny. I actually went to go buy the A, but the A was out in stock. And I got it from anime, um, that store com. And they only had the B in stock. And I was like, man, crap, I really wanted the A. But really what I wanted was the B when I was looking at the, the solicitation photos like from like early last year or whatever. So it was great because for some reason this one's still in stock and I guess nobody really wanted it. Um, just uh, I guess in the box design, you know, it's, it looks like an SHF. So it does kind of have that really the SHF um, exclusive look. So like if you have like any of the exclusive SHF figures, they typically have the image of the figure here, um, which is not always the case in a lot of regular SHF, but but the box looks good. I mean, nothing super crazy with it. Um, and I'll just go into the contents before we go into the, the detail behind the figure. But one of the things I'll say that Tons and Art Toys did was they gave you a lot of stuff. And it not only is it a lot of stuff, because, I mean, you can just fill the box with crap and, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Let me back this up a little bit. But they filled it with very, very high quality stuff. So, for instance, you've got the uh, Blast of X hand, which is different from the one on the, um, if you get the A, the A actually has the uh, Kibu um, uh, sphere where he basically destroys Earth. Um, you got a bunch of different hands in here, you know, and a stand to actually hold that up because this thing's got some weight to it. And then on in here, you also have, I mean, and these are not, and I'll take a couple out to kind of show you, but these are not face plates. These are actual head sculpts. So what typically happens is with SHF uh, and a lot of their figures, I mean, just because of course it makes more sense. But a lot of their figures, you actually get a faceplate that plugs in. But I'm assuming the way Kid Boo works, you can't do that. So, I mean, this is like an angry growling head face, uh, head sculpt. The paint detail are very, very good. I mean, I, I really can't complain. Um, and this is just him, you know, closed face, closed mouth, looking pretty pissy. You know, you've got him being a complete goofball you know if you guys love the motion boot arc and you've seen this you know you kind of know what you're getting into here you've got his um his laugh you know with his fangs showing semi-maniacal but you know not necessarily so much and then you got his angry yelling 
head sculpt here, which is, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like the vice shout uh, that Super Boo does. But yeah, like I say, really, really good. And of course, you also get this piece here, which I'm going to say, even though I, I really appreciate them throwing this in, this was poorly executed. This is one of the few things on this whole figure I would say it's poorly executed because you cannot just stand this up. So what they should have done was made this base like flat or, or something where you can actually just sit it down. Um, but yeah, you can't even sit it. It doesn't stand up on its own. So you have to use a flight pole with it or something like that. So I do like, you know, if somebody wants to do the whole sexy boo thing, this is kind of cool. You can do it, but it's, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I really like that. But again, it's better to have something like that than no options at all. And then the last head on him, which is the one I keep on him all the time, which is his little, I know probably one of the most famous kid boo moves is one is when his hands in the air is getting ready to blow up the earth, um, holding the sphere. And then um, this one here is when he's just kind of sitting there like, yeah, Vegeta, you're about to die, bro. So, I mean, like I say, the paint detail, exceptional. The There's some engineering choices they did for the articulation, which are a little kind of wonky. Uh, mainly the pants. And I know it's probably been the biggest complaint is how the pants look, but I'm never going to have Kid Boo in a split where that little midsection there is kind of exposed. So to me, it's not that big a deal. You know, the pants kind of have a little bit of a weird thing here, but if you actually have SHF, any of the SHF uh, bleach figures, you can see how they have that same kind of theme when you have really baggy pants. They just kind of have to make it work. Um, the articulation is really good. Um, nothing super crazy, you know, like it really kind of poses like a regular SH SHF. Um, head and neck articulation are pretty cool. Now, in the A version, what I've noticed is most of the reviewers are saying that this piece right here pops out on top. But you know what? It doesn't do it on the B version. Like that doesn't come out. Like it does move around, but I've never had it pop out. We have to pop it back in or every time you move it around, it pops out. You know, and I'm moving it around pretty good. So that may just be a mold design or something like that. I don't know if the this matte darker pink finish is a thicker plastic or it maybe has a little bit of harder feel to it, but I'm not really sure, but I can definitely tell you that it's definitely um, not an issue of mine. Um, one thing people complain about the joints, the joints are super tight on this. Now, I did not lube mine up. A lot of people will do it, lube, lube it up. I did not. I didn't put any lube on it. I just kind of, I didn't soak it in water, that, uh, which I typically do. Um, where did it go here? Uh, which I probably should have done, um, but I did not do that this time. Um, just kind of wanted to see how this was all going to play out, and you can see how the orange joint just popped right out like that. Um, but what I'll say is for sure, it's definitely well constructed. I'd say I'll, I'll, I just have mine literally kind of sitting in point and that's really all he does. So, um, that's, I typically do a lot of, uh, action poses with a lot of my figures, but kid boo, I mean, I just really, I really want him sitting on my desk in point and, and laughing me maniacally. So, but typical, um, uh, I, I don't say typical SHF build. It's really similar to SHF and how it's constructed. I'm sure some of their other figures might look like that, even though they really don't have much. This is only like their, I think, second or third release. But um, the construction is really good. Um, I'm, like I say, as far as taking them apart to do the kind of sexy boot thing, and just, just a peg there pops right off. And then... Uh, I guess I gotta get the peg off here. Let me do that right quick. I don't know if I'm gonna pull that piece there. That's how that works. Wait one sec. All right, so it looks like I didn't take enough of it off. So that plugs into here. So essentially you take these two mid sections off here. I actually never even tried it. It's kind of funny. Uh, probably should have did that before I started reviewing it, but and then that just plugs into there, and boom, there you go. So you can have it, you know, of course, change your head play head your, your you and change your head sculpt. This just pops right off. Nothing super crazy about it, and oh, did the pay come out, dude? 
Okay, I'll have to heat that up to put that back on there. So, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of set it there, but yeah. Yeah, just pop right out. Let's see if I can get it to come out this time. Maybe it'll, no, it's the paste stick in there. So I'll have to probably heat it up to get that out. But again, I'm not gonna, this is the head I'm gonna have on mine. So I'm gonna put them back together here. And I'll get this out of the way here. But across the board, I would definitely say I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Yeah, um, typically third parties are usually hit or miss. I mean, I, if you buy Transformers, you understand that third, third party Transformers are usually pretty stellar. And um, I was kind of, um, so I was, wasn't really know what to expect from an SHF because I know I see some of like the CT toys and things like that people will have and they're like, oh, you know, it's really good. And other people talk about how bad they are. And, you know, I, I wouldn't buy a CT toy as long as there's a Mayfix version of it. Um, but in a case like this, like I said, there isn't anybody, you know, license, official license doing Kit Boo or doing Kit Boo well. So, um, I forgot to give it a shout. Um, and I mean, I definitely would tell you, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and I'll get a little comparison, a couple of comparisons out here. I'm going to get him to stand up and yeah, that. Like I said, that's the look I really like for him. That kind of just like, yeah, you're about to die, bro. Um, so here, I mean, just got grab a gra I don't do a lot of SHF uh, Dragon Ball stuff because honestly, I really don't. I haven't seen a lot of them I like. Um, the only other one I have, believe it or not, <laughs> is the SCCC exclusive uh, Broly. And uh, even though Vegeta is my favorite character, like if I had to pick one overall from Dragon Ball, um, really probably my, my favorite villains. My, I, I'm a bigger fan of villains. So this is actually the SHF uh, Broly. This is the SCCC. I think this is a 2016 exclusive. So um, I did buy this aftermarket because I wasn't collecting at the time. So I paid about as much for a hot toy as I did for this figure here. Um, massive, massive difference in size. But I kind of like the fact that it's probably one of the biggest villains, you know, not counting Slug and Giant Form, of course, um, to literally one of the smallest villains, you know, because Kid Boo is kind of like that whole Frieza size kind of thing. But uh, yeah, um, you know, and if you want to really kind of look at him in comparison to just something else from um, SHF, I've got like the SHF Boba Fett here. And just kind of give you like a, just a good, good side comparison. Not that they would ever be in the same universe, but um, but yeah. So I mean, definitely a, a great a great pickup. I mean, if you're a kid boo fan, I think this is kind of a this is this is really your only cho uh, really choice or option right now is this guy. And I think they executed really well. And what I want to also say, kind of in the conclusion, with the difference in the two between the A and the B. So the A color is lighter pink and as opposed as a darker and then the a also this is gold instead of yellow and it's actually like a true gold color um and i think the whole premise behind it is the a is supposed to be um anime and the b is supposed to be manga um i just graft gravitated more toward the darker pink even from uh, all the premieres i saw like on animated heroes on his I think he was, I watched his new show when he talked about it. Um, I do like this version and I'd say it is still on stock on, on me and I will um, put a link in the description. So you guys, if you're interested in picking them up, you can, um, I want to say it was 65 bucks. So uh, right around the whole SHF pricing, but honestly for the build quality and what you get overall, this is a good pickup. You know, if you, if you really want to get boo and if you want to wait for an official, release and of course yeah for sure definitely um kind of sit tight uh, they don't seem to be in a hurry to make a kid boo which is kind of weird but if you are looking to pick up a kid boo or you know 
um, a kid boost substitute in the meantime. This is definitely not a miss at all. You guys will absolutely love this guy. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, you know, I know it's always kind of weird for when people have third party versions of it, something like that. And I'm saying I'm not a big KOs fan. Um, so like if this was officially made by SHF, I would not pick up the non SHF version just because at the least you should support, you know, um, the people who actually have the license, whether they're, whether you, they're a billion dollar company or not, you know, um, I'd rather get the official product, but in case like this, like I said, I didn't mind grabbing them. And if like I say, if they ever drop an, an official one, I will literally get that one and have him too. Cause I do, I really do like kid boo. He is, he is my guy. So him and Broly. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, like subscribe all that good stuff and uh comment down below let me let me just know what you think about the whole situation with no kid boo and if there's somebody but something you want to pick up thanks a lot later guys